5, and it uh, looks like we're going to be about a minute late, about a minute late. We scheduled this for 5.20. We scheduled this for 5.20. It was going to be a late start, and we knew it. And so hopefully we've got decent audio so we won't have to do a restart. That's the big question here. Okay, we're good. And uh, Leon's in the house. Jipu's in the house. Uh, let's see uh, who else is in the house. Kyle's in the house. Hopefully we can get a report sometime from the West Coast. Lance is in the house. And uh, let's see. Alligator Bates. Leon is in the house. That's right. That's what we were talking about today. No, no watches. What a crock. Okay, so we'll talk. We always talk about watches, but we're going to talk about things to go along. Accessories, man. You got to do the whole deal. Lance is in the house, and Stig is in the house. Good evening, Craig and everybody. LA Riots 2020. It's pretty messy over here. Kyle, I saw CVS broken into live. Darn, I wish we could have gotten a live report. Lance is in the house. Hopefully the riots will be over soon. And Stig's in the house. Uh, Leon, I just noticed that the dog man has made a new video claiming that he has inside information that Rolex shall minimize the super case in 2021. Interesting. Triforce Rich is in the house. Uh, Kyle Jett, they trashed Rodeo Drive. They sure did. They tried. I think they, they stopped most of that, though, didn't they? Uh, let's see. Lance is in the house. I bet that some watch stores were broken into. I think they stopped them before they got into the, most of the stores there. I, I thought they stopped them, but anyway, maybe not. Jaden in the house. Some of the rioters took the Invicta. Carlos is in the house. Oh, look like Invicta owners. Yeah, Carlos is in the house. Tom's in the house. Look forward to an update from Kyle. Absolutely, we need that. Uh... There looks to be a lot of cheap Rolex watches for sale over the next few weeks of fire sale. Very nice vest, Lance in the house. And um, yeah, this is an old double-breasted. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take it off because I was out walking and it was a little bit chilly. So I put this on. It's an old double-breasted uh, vest. But it's, it's uh, you know, with these lights and everything, it's a little bit warm here. So I'm going to actually take it off. Give me a moment here. I'm going to move that GMT to it. It's got a reflection on it. I'm going to see if I can minimize that. Okay, so yeah, I was out walking and it was a little bit cool, and so I had the vest on to help keep me a little bit warmer. See, it's coming up on 525 right now, 524, and um, so anyway, okay, let's get the let's get the belts out of the way because somebody actually asked about the the alligator belts because I'd mentioned it a couple of times that with a nice pair of khakis. You wear a nice alligator belt, and of course, if you have a alligator or a crocodile strap on your timepiece, that kind of picks that up, kind of matches, and kind of looks good. And but I want to I want to show what to look for on the the alligator belts. So let me get caught up in the uh, comments, and then we'll get right into that. And we'll get that out of the way, then we can talk about the riots, the watches, all the good stuff. A uh, Triforce riches in the house. No, they did not stop anything. The whole place is trashed. Oh, really? Because when I saw, they had it pretty well locked down. They had it blocked off and locked down. I guess they breached. I know, I know. I'm sorry, guys, that I wasn't live on the scene. The police were nowhere in sight. They covered up the damage with some barrels, but apparently people who were there said the stores were completely looted. <laughs> really? Man, that is amazing that they couldn't at least protect, protect those stores. That is ridiculous. Kyle's in the house. The other day in Apple Valley, we outside cell range and got lost in the desert, so we couldn't call in either. Well, at least you got your, you were able to climb out of the desert, claw your way out of the desert. Hopefully you had a, some kind of rugged timepiece on that could handle that, that heavy-duty situation. Carlos is in the house. I hope Black Lives Matter realizes the damage that Antifa are making to their movement. I don't know that any of those people care about any of that. I think they just want to get TVs. 
and watches and stuff and and Nike Nike uh Air Air Jordans, right? Triforce Rich is in the ha place. Police aren't being police aren't being aggressive because they don't want to blow up the situation. Those looters should have been tossed in prison, taken down. Has nothing to do with the poor man's death, Triforce Rich. Let's not try to bring logic into the discussion, Triforce Rich. Let's not try to be too logical. Uh, Lance is in the house, and he says he agrees. Hey, guys, good evening from Switzerland. They don't have these issues going on there. A bunch of looters have gotten their hands on Rolex pieces. No reports of anyone getting GS. <laughs> yeah, they can't get the GS. They're too hard to get. They're too hard to find. All right, let's get right into it and get this out of the way because i got some belts sitting here and don't want to have to leave them here all night. <clears throat> okay, so this is a good example of a high-end alligator belt. And I'm going to show you what to look for. And let me bring up this picture also that I took today to use as a reference. Oh, geez. Let's see if I can get this up here. Bear with me, folks. This is what live television is all about. Sometimes, sometimes you have to wait. Okay. So, here's the piece in question. Okay. So, this is the belt. Now, this particular belt is probably one of my higher-end belts. Maybe, probably, probably the best belt that I have. And this is, um, it came from Orvis. And they, they do sell, sell some high-quality stuff sometimes. Now, the way you can really tell, first of all, you're going to want it to say Genuine Alligator USA um, inside. Let's see if I can get this on the camera. Um, something like that, right? Now, the other thing that's critical <coughs> is some of the belts are going to have seams, and I'll show you an example of that. But what you want is you want the alligator, the piece of the alligator hide, you want that to go all the entire length of the belt without there being a seam, okay? And sometimes you have to look close to see the seam. They try to hide it, trust me. They do their best to try to hide that they seamed the leather together. But that's going to be a lower end belt that is seamed together. All right, this is all one piece, and I'll try to show you on the close up. Let's see here, chair over here so I can kind of move it. Um, so you can kind of see what you're looking for here. This is all just one one continuous piece of hide. Okay, okay. It's kind of hard to tell. Kind of hard to tell. Okay. So, and, you know, you want a pretty substantial piece of, of hide and good backing to it. You're typically going to have a solid brass buckle. The better ones, this this has, you can't really see it in here, but this has snaps. I can actually unsnap this. Okay, you can see here. And you could actually change the buckle, right? Um, and this one has two keepers on it. All right. So, so that's a, a good example of a high-end alligator belt. Okay, now I'm going to show you a couple more examples. Now you guys get bored with some of this stuff, but we're going to go through it quickly. Here is another belt, different color, of course. But this one also is alligator, and this one also is all one piece of alligator. Okay? And this one also says uh, genuine American alligator inside. And this one's made in Italy. Made in Italy. And this one also has snaps where you can change the buckle. All right, and they will typically be a solid brass buckle, usually. All right, so this is another example. We'll show you where it says. Now, of course, these can, things can be scammed and faked, but you want to, just like anything else, you want to try to get it from a trusted 
retailer or if you're buying it used from a trusted seller on eBay, you know, somehow, some way you want to try to get the real thing and not get scammed, okay? So there's another example of all one piece. And here's one in black, okay? Here's one in black, not quite as thick. This one's about a one inch belt. Those others were like 1.25 inches. But again, solid brass buckle, all right? And this one's, I would wear more with my dress, with my suits. And again, all one piece of alligator. All right, this one in black. Now, now I'm going to show you one that is seamed. And this belt, by just normal examination, you would think, okay, that's a that's a nice looking belt. That's a nice looking alligator belt. It's Johnson and Murphy, high end men's retailer, right? You'd think, okay, Johnson and Murphy. That's going to be a high quality belt. And it says American Alligator inside. Okay. It's got a snap for the buckle. It's got a solid brass buckle. But, and I'll try to show you this. Um, let's see, there's a seam there, but I think there's one I can show easier than that one. Oh, right here. Okay. I'll try to. Yeah, I think that, I think there's two seams. Okay, so I'm going to show you this one. All right, so right here, where I'm putting my finger across, right here, the leather is seamed. Okay, that's two pieces of leather put together, and the seam is right here. Okay. And again, you got to kind of look for it and look for know what you're looking for, but you'll see it. And that and that, I mean it's not I'm not saying that it's a piece of junk belt. I mean it still was an expensive, decent belt, but you want to avoid buying one with a seam like that if you if you can. So so that's the deal. That's the deal and uh You'll get yourself a nice alligator belt and take reasonable care of it. It will last many, many years. I have belts that are 30, 40 years old that are still fine. I have one that I got at uh, Saks Fifth Avenue that was Cayman. That, that doesn't hold up as well, but this chair back in position. Um, but even that belt lasted 20 plus years before it started giving trouble. So. Uh, you know, even worst case scenario, they'll, they'll last quite a while. But you get a good one, they'll last even longer than that. Okay, so let me catch up on the... Uh, let's see. Um, uh, <clears throat> looking at the uh, L-O-G-H-T, low brow belt, that color could be very nice for a strap. Oh, okay. You're talking about the lighter color one? Okay. All right. Um, gator loafers, yes or no? Yeah, sure. I mean, if they're high-end, uh, well-made, nice ones, absolutely. I would wear those with a nice sport coat and some nice uh, khakis. Absolutely, you could do that. Carlos is in the house. If you have a good suntan on your feet and everything, and you're young, and you, your feet aren't all every which way, you could even do it with no socks. You could even pull that off when you're nice and young. Carlos is in the house. Uh, where do you live? Panama. Okay. It's like a giant watch strap. Be served. Craig, what do you think about pigskin leather goods? Pigskin is pretty good. Uh, it's, it's decent leather. Uh, they made a lot of... Um, bomber jackets out of it because it's pretty durable and lightweight. <clears throat> I prefer uh, kangaroo leather. is very strong, very good stuff. Uh, so there are a lot of good options out there. And let's see. Uh, hi, fella. You are a good fella or a bad fella? <laughs> Chitown says, hi, Craig. Okay. I trust Italy to make my loafers and belts, not to make the electrical system for my car, Cheetown. 
Well, here's some, something interesting about Italy. And by the way, I got to go get my H2O after this because I forgot to get my H2O. Here's an interesting thing about Italy. A lot of the Italian makers now are using cheap imported Chinese labor. That's why Italy got so hit, hit hard by the virus, because they brought the virus with them. These, these migrant workers that come in from China to work on the leather goods and all that. So a lot of their quality has gone downhill because they're cheapening out on the labor. So just because it's made in Italy anymore doesn't mean it's all that in a bag of chips. It used to, but not necessarily anymore because they're using cheap imported labor. And they can still say made in Italy, right? Because the people are still there in Italy making it, but ain't the same thing. Ain't the same thing. So little details, you know, that you got to know. Little details that you got to know. Okay, I'm going to go get my H2O. I'll be right back. And I'll, I'll actually leave you with the photo of the belt while I go. So, so yes, you have to be careful about the Italy stuff. Got to be careful. Okay, let's see. Um, <clears throat> my Crockett and Jones shoes belt for my wedding just came. Wow, cool. Don't need the belt for the wedding, but will be my everyday black belt. Still need to open, uh, open the box, but my first Crockett and Jones stuff. Cool. Well done, Triforce Rich. Uh, when are you getting married? Uh, Craig can be the wedding photographer. There you go. Congrats, you sir. Uh, Derek's in the house. Looters, try me. You, you all, um, try me. You all wish to be your own farm right about now. I was ready for this decades and decades ago. I'm 51, Craig. Okay, good. There you go. Uh, let's see, um, Triforce Rich, Carlos, a few, a, f a few months, if they don't shut it down again, I was supposed to be married in May, but the COVID situation shut it down, already have a photographer, Blue, but, uh, haha, yeah, Craig could do it, there you go, uh, let's see, um, <clears throat> if they try to take your day date, what, w what will you do, <laughs> uh, Triforce Rich, um, says be a sort of thanks okay craig do you have any non-leather belts i have some canvas belts for casual wear be surf uh craig are you going to crack out the whip today I'm not, maybe not today but maybe another day i will um i don't have any belts that aren't leather that i wear no they're all leather most of them are either crocodile or alligator um the vast majority uh, I just I just like that look um, but no I, I, I now I did have a couple of belts years ago that were leather and and then canvas or or whatever you know that woven material and then leather again remember those were real popular those ribbon belts I, I do have a few of those still laying around but I never wear them so no it's primarily the the alligator or the the crocodile the saltwater crocodile belts that I have that I've showed before here on the channel those those are really heavy duty and those I wear a lot um, for my with my khakis and and stuff like that these ones I just showed you just now are usually worn with like a suit or, or something else uh, so yeah uh, let's see, Craig, if you get properly tailored pants, you don't need to wear a belt. In the UK, no one wears them if they shop on Seville Road. Fella. Yeah, but I hear you, but I just like to have a belt. 
and and I also have my uh, Sebenza on the belt, uh, and I carry it. Um, I generally like like to have a belt because, I mean, you know, even if the pants fit properly, you know, let's say you you lose a little bit of weight and they're a little bit loose, you know. I mean, I like to have that little bit of adjustability and I, a little bit of wiggle room, if you will. So, no, I've always worn a belt. But, yeah, I've seen a lot of people wear pants without belts, and they're designed to, to wear like that. And then, of course, some people like to use uh, suspenders. But uh, I've always been a kind of a belt guy. Uh, let's see. And I think they look good. I got my Apple Watch. Uh, uh, I watched Series 3, swapped my tutor for her, plus money. There you go. Good move. Triforce Search Craig is absolutely right about Italian goods. Many manufacturers are using cheap labor. That being said, I have a Gucci wallet that is fantastic, albeit overpriced, but I like the design. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, they're still going to make some good stuff here and there, but I'm just saying you just have to be careful. You just have to watch it. You get the eagle eye, man. You got to really look this stuff over. There's a lot of people out there trying to, uh, you know, pawn off mediocre stuff as high end and so yeah you got to really keep an eye keep an eye on that stuff let's get this stunner out here get that get a little bit of the stunner out here exposed let's see here um huh Derek says Craig uh, Craig would not trade his day date for my tutor, and Stephen wouldn't take it in either. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Triforce Rich, are Gucci wallets better quality than LV wallets? Here's the thing on wallets and stuff like that. I would be very tempted to have stuff like that made, custom made by one of these makers on like Etsy or something like that. I mean, some of this stuff, they do really great work. And then you have people like Colonel Littleton, uh, you know, that, that has just amazing leather goods. I don't know if he makes wallets or not. I think he might. Uh, but, yeah, there's some really good options that are not necessarily the famous names, the famous name brands, but might be a lot better, a lot better, depending on who makes them. So, yeah, I would ferret that kind of stuff out. Uh, and uh, Lance has announced, Craig, which watch is better, that gold cradle or the 002? Oh, I much prefer this 002. I much prefer the looks of the 002. 002. I haven't found a dress watch that trumps it. Period. Full stop. Nothing. I found nothing that trumps this watch because it's so comfortable on wrist. The clasp is gorgeous. It works great. It's very easy to take on and off. It's got a 72-hour power reserve, power reserve. It's plenty accurate. You've got that super smooth sweep of the second hand. You've got that gorgeous dial, and the indices just play off. I'm tilting it right now, and I'm seeing how the light just plays off of the indices. And it's just stunning every time I look at it. It's just absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning. Let me see if you can see how that light plays off. If, if I just kind of tilt it around here a little bit. See see how that light plays off of all those facets? I mean, it, it is just, I mean, it, it's just freaking gorgeous. I mean, I didn't want to like this watch. I got to be honest with you people. When I went over to Little Treasury... I was hoping that I was going to look at the watch and I was going to say, well, you know, it's really nice, but, you know, I'm going to have to pass because it's just not quite, you know, it's not quite all that, right? Because the only way I was going to buy it was if it was absolutely all that, right? But I looked at the, I saw the thing when I first saw it. So even before I put it on my wrist, I said, oh my God. You know, and and then when I put it on my wrist and, and felt how comfortable it was, even though we didn't even have the clasp exa exactly correct when we first threaded this thing through, we didn't even have it correct. It was still, it was like, wow. I was just like, wow, right? 
And so, and it's only gotten better since then. It's only grown on me even more since then to the point where I'm just like, I can almost justify just wearing this all the freaking time. All the freaking time. Now that I've got a leather strap, a black leather strap coming for it, that's going to possibly make it even more versatile. Let's see here. Cheetown, California depends. Avoid the canvas wallets and get the leather goods, and they're about equal. Uh, Gucci Classic Designs still have great quality leather. There you go. Good morning, folks, from Kevin. And like I say, my wallet, the one I've had for probably 40 years, is uh, Alligator, and, it, and it's a um, it's designed to carry like credit cards and stuff like that and it's I mean I love it it's just the right size not too big not too small it still looks good let me grab it I mean if, if for as much use as it's had wait let me show you This thing, this thing has had a ton of use. I mean, it's in and out of my pocket all the time when I'm out and about, right? And I've literally worn it for, I think I got this thing in like 1979. I mean, a long freaking time, folks. And this is, it is made in Italy. Um, see, it says, uh, Genuine Alligator Made in Italy. And Bond Street was the brand back in the day now this was this was bought by the way that's my pride and joy my pride and joy right there this was bought at uh, I believe it's Saks Fifth Avenue is where I bought this in uh, Chevy Chase Chevy Chase Maryland and it's got a um, a little bit of a split here and a little bit of splitting down here on the end you know where it, where it pivots right but I mean it's still fully functional for as long as I've had this thing and as much as I've used it, right? And it's very comfortable, very nice and trim, so it doesn't bulge out the back of your pants. I've got this and the Kent comb in that same pocket. And then on my other back pocket, I just have a handkerchief, right? So that's all I have in my back pockets. But, I mean, I, I, I love the look of this. And, you know, you pull this out, you pull out your Costco card or something. That's the, when I pull it out, I pull it out and I grab my Costco card, right? And that's kind of about the only thing I use it for anymore. Of course, my driver's license is in here. But a um, couple of business cards. But, you know, you pull this out and get some out. I mean, it just, it just looks like class. It just looks like class to have a freaking alligator wallet. I mean, I'm sorry. It just does. Same thing with the belt. Have a high-end alligator belt like that, and it just looks classy. You know, people might think that you've got a little bit of couth, you know, just a little bit of couth. So, there you go. Um, Cheetown, um, retracted. Okay. Jipu, why would you wear a belt other than leather? Good question. Uh, Carlos, I need to find a good leather maker to clone my wallet I love it and they're not doing it anymore I have not found other like it I would talk to um, the guy at HD straps tell him that you know me tell him that you want you you're a fan of the channel and he might be able to do it for you he does custom he I think he can do anything custom what is your wallet made of do tell, Carlos. Uh, Lance is in the house. Oh, by the way, I wonder if these are turned over. Let me just check something here real quick. Let's check this. Um, checking this belt I can't really tell if the edge is turned over or not I don't know what to look for whoops I'm sorry 
it looks really good. The finish and everything, the way it's put together, it looks really good. But I can't tell if it's turned over or not. What, what I mean by that is <clears throat> you saw the picture of the, um, of the strap that's in progress by HD Straps. Let me show you here. You see here, this is where the alligator is turned over. The edge is turned over, right? And then the next step is he punches the holes all the way around, and then he puts the leather liner on it, and then he stitches it through, through the holes and, and stitches the leather liner. But because this is folded over, instead of just a cut edge that's then like painted, this makes it looks a lot better with the folded edge. So that's a thing. Okay, see, and there's the finished product. And there it is from the top, right? So that's a thing. I mean, if, you, if they don't fold it like that, that's a much easier to make and cheaper process and not, by all accounts, not as good. So I think by looking at that belt, I think the belt is folded like that too, and then they sewed the, the uh, back leather, back leather backing onto it. I think so. Okay, so let me catch up here. Um, I've never owned any Louis Vuitton products, but I've heard that they do wear out and fall apart over time. These fashion companies are not what they used to be. Yeah, you'd want to buy some, probably some vintage uh, Louis Vuitton that's in really good shape. That's probably the way you would want to go on that. Kyle's in the house. Craig, is Steve, is Steve doing a show anytime soon? Hopefully he will. He's been having some issues with his gear, technical problems, you know, and uh, hopefully he can get that sorted out and he's going to start doing some shows. Yes, uh, he, I just talked to him today and he's very frustrated that he can't, can't get everything sorted out properly. Um, Trevor Switch, do you have any Gucci loafers? I shouldn't have sold my Gucci loafers. I sold mine. I just wasn't wearing them. But I should have kept those. That, sometimes you do regret selling something, and those I probably shouldn't have sold. But I just wasn't wearing them that often at all. I mean, it had been like 10 years since I wore the damn thing, so I'm like, okay, maybe they got to go. Uh, sorry, I meant that for Triforce Rich. Okay. Um, Jipu, uh, only Gucci item I own is that wallet. My fa fiancé has a belt. I bought her in a pair of sneakers, and they both have held up very well, and she loves them. There you go. Uh, Chi Town, Louis Vuitton goods nowadays are generally untreated leather, canvas coated with industrial vinyl instead of waxed canvas, and pla uh, plated metal instead of real brass. Just don't buy for the brand name. Exactly. I wouldn't buy anything that wasn't like solid brass hardware. Um, yeah, I mean, why do it? Uh, let's see. Craig saw you in a Facebook ad for magnetic glasses. Um, I did a video on the clips glasses, the, those ones that you can break apart and then hang around and then put up. But uh, so they were feeding that to you or something? Because I, I don't think I did an ad for them, but I don't know what you mean by an ad. Maybe it was that video. Uh, let's see, Craig, why don't you ever wear cufflinks? Far better look with a dress watch. I wear them a lot on the channel. <laughs> I've worn French cuffs a lot on the channel. So yeah, I do wear them sometimes. Not always, but yes, I do wear them quite often. And I agree, they are a good look. And I hope that Steve gets some with the um, Grand Seiko uh, lion on them. I asked him if he could come up with something like that. That'd be really cool. But yeah, I have some I have some fairly plain cufflinks that I usually wear with the uh, French cuffs and I do it. Yes, I do. I do do that. I don't know what um what channel you've been watching because I do that often. Let's see Triforce switches in the house. Craig, do you think your class was made by a genuine Italian, do you think an immigrant worker touched that clasp? The, um, are you talking about the belt that I have that was made in Italy? 
I believe that one is old enough that that was probably made by actual Italians, <laughs> not the Chinese immigrant workers. Uh, that, I think they've only been doing that the last 20 years or so, and that belt's probably 30 or 40 years old. So, yeah, it was probably made by actual Italians. Uh, let's see. Lamont is in the house. Yay, they they having big sales at all the malls. <laughs> uh, let's see. And here's the thing about labor, folks. Here's the thing about labor. It's it's more what you pay them as opposed to who they are. So if they get if they bring in labor from China because it's a lot cheaper. You know, the old saying, you get what you pay for, it's very often true. And especially leather workers, they need to be pretty good. They need to be on their game. They need to know what the heck they're doing. And if you're skimping on that, it, it can have some ramifications. All I'm saying. And a lot of the manufacturers that used to make moccasin-style shoes up in Maine... They sold out all their equipment and everything, and they moved it to, like, the Dominican Republic. And they're making, like, a lot of the shoes down in the Dominican Republic. And they're pretty good. They're not terrible, right? But they're not as good as the ones they used to make in Maine. I've got both. I've examined both very closely, okay? I, I, remember, I was a professional appraiser for 20 years, okay? I, I, I know how to look at and examine things to see if they're quality or not. And... And there are issues. And there are also some issues with the glues they use and some of the other materials that they use. And so you got to be very careful. You, got, you, got, you just got to be careful with this stuff, folks. I, 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 I have to tell you, you got to be careful. Kevin D. says, the pontiff made a vi vid begging watch box for a job. I saw that. Uh, Lamont, what are you talking about? The malls are all closed. Okay. Lamont, uh, C-R-I-A, okay. Yo, Lamont, pick Craig up a pair of Gucci sneakers while you're at it. Craig, Craig needs to modernize. There you go. Lamont, I'm on, I'm on disability right now, y'all. My dad has doing the shopping for my ass. There you go. Uh, uh, do, you, do you want to protest? Uh, Cheetown, in general, avoid designer items with big logos stamped all over them and go for the quality stuff with supple branding. The larger logo, the lower the quality. Very good points. Very, very good points. You generally won't see me wearing anything with big logos or anything like that. Not going to happen. I had, I had changing wallets. New wallet designs are awful. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, I hate, okay. <clears throat> I hate changing wallets. Okay, I hear what you say. Yeah, because you get used to the one you've got. Lamont's in the house. Uh, uh, protest ain't protesting if they ain't coming with PlayStation 5. <laughs> okay. Um, he needs some new games. Lance is in the house. He says... G-Town, very true. Invicta is a great example of that. They make their watches very big and put their logo everywhere to look well-made and expensive, while in reality they're garbage. Arrow ad ad advocate. I changed from smooth leather to alligator wallets a few years ago and never had to replace it since. The regular leather always wore out after two to three years. There you go. Uh, Michael, uh, I, I'm thinking about getting a nice trim wallet made of shell cordovan in color eight i hear you michael but hey get yourself a nice alligator alligator wallet and be done with it you don't need to go with the shell cordovan okay you hear that sony lamont's got to get his ps5 or else there'll be heck to pay lamont y'all hit up hit up madden okay i mean <laughs> okay um Lamont in the house, did you participate in the looting? No, he's on disability, he said. Uh, Madden is okay, but the game that I'm most excited is the new Halo. Triforce Search says, Craig, you need an 18-carat yellow gold tie. You mean the whole tie? <laughs> wow, that would be like something like a rapper would wear, I think. It'd be heavy, too. Carlos says... Uh, 
It is regular calf leather, but I like the trifold design with note taker plus a slot to store mini pen. Um, yeah, he could probably make that for you. I, I think um, I think he could make that for you. It's it's uh, hdstraps.com. HD, see the URL on the bottom right hand corner there. hdstraps.com. And his name is Hong, I think. Ask him, uh, t uh, email him, and tell him what you need. Send him some pictures and tell him what you need. I think he can do it for you. I think he's the guy. Okay. And maybe maybe have it made out of, like, shark skin or something. Maybe have it made out of something cool. I think so. That's a, I think that'd be a good move. Uh, Chi Town Lance noticed that the Gucci items with the biggest markup on them, T-shirts and hoodies, have huge logos on them, while their handmade leather goods are rather sub subtly branded. Well, yeah, because they're the market for those T-shirts and hoodies and all that stuff are people that have no taste. They've got no class. They've got no sense of style. I mean, they're clueless, and they're gonna. They just want to buy something really gaudy and and flashy to put on. They've got no taste. Uh, Triforce Rich is in the house. California there. Huge logo shirts, hoodies, or pile of crap. Stick to leather or run with that. Okay. Uh, how about Battlefield? Not sure what that is. Uh, my dad took my prescription away on PlayStation Online. Oh, okay. Um, subscription. Okay. Let's see here. Triforce Rich. Um... Gucci's $800 logo t-shirts are made for folks who want to show people they have money to blow but want to put as little effort into dressing well as possible. Or they just have no taste. There's that, too. Uh, Gucci is very overrated. I see so many kids wearing them today. Only their high-end products are worth buying. Yeah, I would probably pass on a lot of that stuff. Uh, let's see. Stig's in the house. A man that has a 40-year-old wallet has as good looking as this one does not spend money unnecessarily well I carry my money in my money clip in my front front pocket <laughs> so the cash is there but you're right I also don't don't pull that out unnecessarily I'm I'm a little bit of a tightwad when it comes to spending money I if I do spend money I want to buy something of quality that'll last I don't want to buy junk I don't want junk laying around here okay I'm I'm just not in the mood for junk laying around. Let's see here. Um yes, I saw the video too. I think you did it in your bedroom. What video was that? Um uh, let's see here. Um <clears throat> Derek's in the house. What in the name of Jesus is Lamont rambling about? <laughs> Triforce Rich says, um California, they sell those to cover the lower margins on the leather goods. Their profit margins on that crap clothing are insane. Well, I guess they would be. Triforce Riches, I was referring to your GS clasp, not your belt. Um, so what, uh, what were you asking about the clasp? I don't, please please re-ask the question, and I will see if I can address the, the question at hand. Uh, let's see here. Uh, t -t -t I use a beautiful leather wallet made by a lady friend. It is made well and is holding up to the daily punishment. There you good move, Kevin. Chi Town's in the house. Triforce Rich, like other designer companies, takes advantage of people who don't know how to dress well or how to spot quality. Kyle's in the house. You guys should all check out uh, Beto's Leather Works. The man has an amazing channel in my opinion. Well, there you go. There's a good referral. A Triforce Rich is in the house, California. And by the way, I will say something about HD straps. I haven't received these straps yet that, that, that he worked on, that he made for me custom. When I receive them, I'll give the straight scoop. I will examine them closely and I will give my straight scoop. But I'm generally not a fan of buying leather goods that are made in Vietnam. A lot of times, the way the leather's tanned and different things, there can be issues. Th hopefully, this will be the exception. I've heard good things. Durr has bought several items from him, and I've heard good things in some of the other forums. 
hopefully this is the exception. This guy really does good work because his prices are extremely reasonable. So I'm not, I have no issue with getting something really high quality and getting it for a good deal. I, I, I have no problem with that if the quality is there. And I made it very clear to him that I want the quality to be equal to this original factory strap. And he said that he said it would actually be better. I said, well, fine. As long as it's at least as good, I'm happy. If it's better, that's, that's a bonus, right? So I will tell you, I will let you know uh, when I get it. I'll, I'll give you the straight scoop. That's how, that, that's how this channel works. Kevin's in the house. Okay, I already read that one. Uh, let's see, I read that one. Read that one. Okay, Triforce Rich. California Gucci was on the verge of death, and they got a new designer that came out with all the crazy stuff, and it saved the brand. Their classic stuff sells well now. Okay. And Derek's in the house. What is the pontiff, Craig? You mean who is? Archie Luxury. That's what they call him, the pontiff. Okay. And she downs in the house, Triforce. No wonder their classic stuff sells out. Everyone is, af is afraid Gucci is going to stop making it. Uh, let's see here. Where can I get an alligator wallet? Um, I would do some searches on eBay. Uh, you might be able to find one that is in like mint condition but used. A wallet is a great thing to buy used because think about it. Sometimes people get a gift of like a really nice like alligator wallet and then they don't like it for some reason or they just don't use it or whatever and then at some point it gets put up for sale, right? And let's say it was a $500 wallet, just throwing out a number here. Let's say the retail on it was $500 when it was new. They'll be lucky if they can get 150 bucks used. You know, they'll be lucky. So that's the kind of thing that you can really get a deal on if you, what I would recommend you do is do a saved search on eBay. Search alligator wallet made in USA, something like that. Alligator wallet USA. And then save that search and then see what comes up. We'll, we'll do a search right now. And I'm going to show you how you do this. <clears throat> this is a good demo. Alligator Wallet, okay, USA, okay, all right, so what I searched was I searched Alligator Wallet USA, all right, now, there are some results here, right, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this search right here, see this, if I save that search, I will get notified if something new is listed to eBay that matches that criteria. Now, I've got to caution you. You've got to look and see if this is the real stuff. Now, this says Brown Alligator Bifold Wallet, Amish USA Handmade. So they're claiming this is made by the Amish in the USA, and they're claiming it's alligator. Now, it could just be an imprint. It could be leather that's imprinted as alligator. And that's not alligator. That's fake. So let me click on this and let's see what they say. They should say genuine alligator, right? If it if it is imprinted, let's look at this. I'm going to pretty much bet that this is imprinted. Okay? So let's go down here in the description. I bet you they're going to say imprinted. Okay. Amish Okay, premium alligator, premium alligator leather, billfold wallets by hand, traditional. T you know, it doesn't say wallet is made with beautiful, authentic American alligator skin that is tan brown. This might be the real deal. And 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 Yoder leather leather company Y O D E R they that's a real Amish op operation. That's the, that's a real deal. So that, that's, that could be a good deal right there. I and mean, that's brand new. So you see what I'm showing you here is you can find these things sometimes at a deal. 
Um, now see, here's one that's two hundred and forty-nine dollars. Here's another one that's sixty-seven dollars. Brown alligator credit card and business card case, USA handcrafted. So see, that one is similar to the one I've got in my pocket. Here's a trifold right here. Here's a trifold for hundred and seventeen dollars. I'm surprised how many of these things are pretty are pretty um, reasonable. Now here's a designer twirl USA vintage genuine alligator wallet. Okay, so this is a vintage one. So let's see what the condition is of this. Um, I mean, it's got some wear and tear, but it's certainly not. I mean, it's hard to tell from these pictures. It doesn't look hateful. So, yeah, I, I think that's the way to go. I think that's the way to go, folks. Get yourself a high-quality unit on um, eBay. Let's look at... Um, Let's look at another one of these. Let's look at this business card case. Let's see what the deal is on this. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see. I mean, it's got nice heavy-duty stitching around it. See, you got a place to put, like, your driver's license and a couple of credit cards on either side, you know? See? See what he's demonstrating there? I mean, if I didn't have the one I have... I'd consider something like that. I think that's cool. Now let's see who made this. This is from Ohio. A lot of Amish people in Ohio. I bet you it's the same type, type of operation. Bull hide belts, black alligator credit card and business card, USA, genuine American alligator. I bet you it probably is. That's really, you know, these things used to be expensive. I'm telling you right now, they used to be expensive. When I bought my wallet, it was expensive. I guess this stuff is getting more common. I thought it was getting less common. I thought some places were starting to outlaw it, but you just saw. It looks like it's around to me. Uh, let's see. Craig, have you owned any Moroccan leather goods? Not that I can think of. Not that I can remember. And you sent me a photo. Okay, we'll take a look at that. Craig, do you think people who obsessively talk money, the cost of everything, and telling everyone who much they, I think you meant how much they've spent, are nouveau riche? Well, yeah, that's really tacky to talk about what you spent for things and things like that. Now, you know, when I give guidance on some of these things, you know, I, I try to be transparent and, and you know, I'll, I'll give you examples of things and stuff like that. But I certainly don't go to like a, uh, you know, a dinner party or something and start going, you wouldn't believe how much this watch costs, you know. I mean, how tacky would that be? <laughs> you know, that'd be pretty low rent, right? And by the way, you know what I used to do? <clears throat> if somebody would ask me about, like, the date eight, if I was wearing the, the date eight, and they would say something, oh, oh that's, a, that's a beautiful watch. Um, how, how much is that, right? First of all, that's very tacky for them to ask that question, right? But what I would do, the way I always would answer that question is I would say, oh, well, I, I, I think they're kind of expensive. I'm not sure. It was a gift. So whatever it is, I would just tell them it, it was a gift. So I'm not really sure what it cost. It was it was a gift, you know. That's the classy way to handle that kind of a situation. So there you go. Um, and Jaden's in the house. Triforce, I'm kind of married to Alan Edmonds because of the sizing. Have you tried Alden? Do, the, do, the, do any of the Alden shoes fit you well? Uh, let's see. Jaden's in the house. Once I have... Uh, brand I love my sizing down I'm pretty loyal as well so I understand for example all my jeans are rag and bone made in USA I hear you I don't blame you but I don't blame you for that chinos as well okay have you tried Bill's khakis Triforce Rich 
Jipu, I need a wallet with a coin purse. Very hard to find these days. Um, hmm. Well, you might have to have that made. I'm sure he could make that for you. HD straps could make that for you. Um, you don't want to keep the coins separately? I always keep the coins in my pocket separately. Kyle Jett's in the house. I have one Jipu. I know what you mean. Okay, so he can relate. And Chi Town's in the house. Try for a switch. What sort of pants fit do you go for? I'm short with big calves, so my so most straight and slim fit jeans don't fit me properly. Uh, and Kyle's in the house. I get my wallets in the airport shops, usually or overseas. I, I like the elephant skin. Yeah, elephant skin. I guess that would hold up. I would think. Lance's in the house. Our coach wallets any good? They used to be years ago when they were made in the USA. They were really good, but I'm not so sure about that anymore. Triforce Rich is in the house. California, I got from slim fit or slim straight. I hate skinny jeans, but I like the fitted look. I'm about six feet tall, but I have short legs for my height. Uh, you couldn't wear a rag and bone then. Okay. And Jaden says, yes, Triforce Rich, uh, too risky to switch. Okay, Triforce Rich, their the fits are targeted more towards slim guys. And the lovely Brianna is in the house, and I'm sure everybody's going to say hello to Brianna. BreeFitDance.com. Let me show Bree's website. I didn't show it last time she popped into the chat. She popped in and popped out real quick, so didn't have time to show it. But let me see if I can get this to load. I'll show her website, and you can become a Patreon. You can become a Patreon of the lovely Brianna. BreeFitDance.com. BreeFitDance.com. And then you'll see links where you can sign up and become a Patreon and ways that you can donate money and you can do things to help her continue creating content, help her focus and continue on creating content. Okay, uh, so there's that's Brie Fit Dance. That's the lovely Brianna. Okay, uh, their fit are targeted towards slim guys, definitely not short. Um, okay, and Bree says hello and on hi, and Jaden says, I'm five, I'm 15, three E. Wait, you wear size 15 shoe, Jaden? Please, that can't be possible. Triforce Rich is in the house. Damn, Jaden, big man, <laughs> I guess so. And and Brianna says, how's everyone? There you go. I think everyone's doing pretty good in this in this hangout. And, and Chi Town's in the house. The difference I notice is that new money obsesses over money like they've never seen it before. And old money has never needed to worry about it. So they concentrate on other endeavors. There you go. And Jipu is in the house. Canadian currency has too many coins. Very annoying to carry. Uh, and Brianna says, thank you. There you go. Um, maybe is she thanking me for showing her page? Well, if, if they're thanking me, then absolutely you're welcome. And Lamont's in the house. Stig is saying, hello, Lady Brianna. Good, how are you? And Triforce Rich says, do you think your GS clap clasp is made by actual Italians have immigrant hands touched that clasp? That's a good question. I would think that this is made by real Italians, I would think, or if they are using imported labor, they probably have some high, highly paid imported labor that's working on this, because it is really well done. <laughs> really well done. It is up there in quality. Okay, um... Check email. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thanks for reminding me. Thanks for reminding me to check the email. And I will do that. I will check the email. I will do as I'm told. I'm not going to resist. I'm going to do as I'm told. I'm going to check the email. Okay. And I guess this is another situation where this is probably a rendering that gold doesn't even look real. It, the, the, I guess that's 18 karat gold, but it doesn't even look real. It looks pretty much like a rendering to me. It's okay. I mean, the lugs, I'd rather it be more curved into the case. And, and I'm not a big fan of Roman numerals, but it's okay. 
Uh, so, yeah, that it's okay, but it's not going to come anywhere near trumping the 002. The 002 is the bomb. And Chi-Town says, I'm 5'7 with size 11 shoes, so I'm a bit lopsided. Well, that is, that, yeah, I'm 5'10 or so, and I've got size 11. I wear 11D, Chi-Town. So, uh, let's see here. Jaden says, yep, 15. I have six pairs, I think, of Allen Edmonds. Well, yeah, I mean, it, that, my, my goodness, that's probably the only thing that'll fit. Triforce Rich is in the house. Chi-Town, California, I feel you. I'm six foot with size nine dress shoes. Uh-oh. With the opposites. Um, what size are your wrists? Proportionately slender. Yeah, I think Triforce has a, a relatively slender wrist. I th what was it, six and three quarters, something like that? Triforce, let us know. Let us know in the chat. Well, let's see what time it's getting to be. It is 6.20, 6.20, and it was a slightly later broadcast. I was hoping that Tom could come in because it's always, you know, we're, we're not late enough for him. He'd like, us, like me to do it later, but he hasn't popped in. But it's interesting, folks, what we learned today about some uh, alligator goods on uh, eBay that there's some deals out there and some of it made in the USA and apparently decent quality I mean if they're made by the Amish sometimes they make some pretty good stuff so um, you know here's the thing we are in a downturn of an our economy is in a downturn and stuff like that you know even a $75 wallet or a $100 wallet you know I guess is not so easy to sell right now. And so these Amish folks, they're probably buying a pretty big hide, you know, a good size alligator hide. And they can probably make a bunch of wallets out of that. And, and they sell them and they do okay. And, and, and that's good. That's good, folks. I'd rather have one of those wallets than some Gucci or something. Heck yeah, I'd rather have that. Let's take a look here. Let me find another one. Let's pull up. Let's pull up something. Let's pull up something. Let's pull up this trifold here. Okay, again, I'm I'm not a I'm not a fan of trifolds. Okay, but let's say you wanted a trifold. You wanted a big fat trifold wallet in your pocket, right? This thing is pretty awesome looking. I mean, and that, that, that is a for real, for real piece. A lot of detailing. They were even showing the skin that it came out of, for gosh sakes. That is pretty, pretty amazing. I mean, I mean, I'm telling you right now, a wallet like that, in 1980, in 1980, that wallet would have probably been 400 bucks back in the day. I am amazed what they're selling some of this stuff for now. Hmm. That is amazing. I know that the alligator was, you know, was harder to get back in the day and was more regulated and so on and so forth. I guess they're farm raising them more now. And maybe it's a little more available. And like I say, maybe these people are willing to operate on thin margins because this guy's in Ohio. He's probably Amish. There's a lot of Amish in Ohio. Uh, you know, USA handcrafted, right? They're good at their handcrafting. What can I tell you, folks? What can I tell you? That thing, let's take one more look at it. That is pretty freaking amazing. Seems well made. Seems like the real deal. Seems like the real deal to me. Okay, let's see. In Chi Town, yeah, the 6.5 inches, my body is odd, uh, muscular, but I have small joint bones. There you go. Interesting. Uh, okay, I got another email coming from Kyle. Let's pull this up. Pull this up. We always like emails from. 
our West Coast connections. Da, 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 da. Let's pull this up. Da, 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 da. Give me a second here while this loads in. Oh, yeah, I've seen this piece before and similar pieces. And I think it's okay. I mean, some people don't like the gold and not having gold in the bracelet. I think it's okay. I, and, and they look a lot better in person than they do in this rendering. These renderings are not that great, right? But, yeah, I think these are a cool watch. And I like the fact that it's got the five-link bracelet. I like that dial. I like uh, date eight is okay. And let's see. Oh, I guess we can't see the size because. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, 9.9 .9 millimeters. Interesting. So it's nice and trim, very trim on the wrist. It's a good size, 37 mil. So, you know, it's not a it's it's not a big watch, 37 mil. Keep that in mind. But it'd be a nice small trim watch. I'm guessing it probably does not have a screw down crown. I'm guessing. But uh but that is interesting. That is interesting. No doubt interesting. You might find something like that at a good price on eBay. You might get lucky. Let's see here. Trevor Switch, I have a forty two inch chest with a thirty inch waist. There you go. Put together well. Kyle's in the house. Brett is in a poker tournament and wants to know what he should pay for a new 231. I would try to get one for in the 5,000 to 5,500 range. I'd, I'd take a shot with a cash offer in that price range and see what happens. They might throw you out, but you might get you might get the watch. You might get the watch. I'd try in that range. 5,000 to 5,500, maybe 5,800 max. Uh, that's what I would try. And don't tell, hey, if you go to Steve and try to get that price, don't tell him I told you that. <laughs> just, just do it. Don't tell him I told you that. He's not going to be happy. He's not going to be happy that I gave you that, that information. But, but, you know, you guys are good folks, so see what you can do. I'd be shocked if you're going to get it for less than five grand brand new I'd be absolutely shocked it'd be a good deal if you got it for five 5500 would be probably more realistic Triforce Rich is in the house actually I guess I have a 41 inch chest these days since I shrank but in my prime was 42.5 there you go uh, Kyle uh, 6k max and don't let let him budge Craig paid 5500 I think you can get used ones for significantly cheaper yeah, well, you don't know how much I paid. <laughs> and I'm not going to say, <laughs> but I got a good deal. But I agree with you about 6K max. Yeah, I think you might be able to get it in the $5,500 range if you, if, you, if you drive a hard bargain. And Kyle in the house, yeah, that's what we were thinking, Rich. Um, Down Economy aided me to buy the SBGN 007. Still on track to get here Thursday. Cool. Uh, it'll be good to get a report on that. Jeep is in the house. Did someone mention John Allen Woodward earlier? I don't remember that. Um, I like the size of that watch, and they don't offer it in the U.S., I hear you. Yeah, there's there's a lot of cool models that they offer for the Japan market that they don't offer for here. That is the case. Lance is in the house. I would put that GS on a brown leather strap with a gold buckle. Interesting. Interesting. That would look nice, says Lance. Uh, did you buy your 9F from Little Treasury, Kyle? I think he did. I'm pretty sure Kyle did. Craig, do you think proportionally sized watches are making a comeback well I don't know I think there are more and more people that are realizing that a big f ugly watch is not a good play um, and looks kind of goofy uh, especially if it's not a straight up sport watch I mean if it's a for real divers watch like the 231 there hey that's okay that that's a, a big watch I mean it's a divers watch for gosh sakes and that, that's okay 
But if you're wearing something like that with a suit, no. No. I don't think it makes any sense at all to wear something like that with a suit. I don't think it makes any sense at all. So, yeah, that's the way that works. Um, and Trevor says, says Kyle, got to admit, don't think I'll be considering watches bigger than 40 millimeter anymore. After getting the day date, it made me realize how much better a smaller watch sits on my wrist. Well, the 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 36 mil day date is a, just a, the perfect watch. I mean, they just nailed it with that watch for an all arounder watch. For a watch that can be a sport watch, dress watch, a do everything heavy use watch. I've said it many times on this channel. Try to name one watch that can trump the day date. I'll wait. Right? You just can't do it. You can't come up with one watch that can trump the versatility, the durability, the looks, the comfort on wrist, everything that a 36 mil day date has to offer. You can't name any watch that can trump that piece. Uh, so there you go. Um, yes, I got it from Little Treasury New. It is certainly the way to go. I priced everything out online first. But Craig, James Vaughn wears dive watches with suits, and he's pretty cool. Well, first of all, it's a movie, right? And second of all, most of the, the watches that he wore back in the day were considerably thinner than the Omegas they're making now. The first Omega that, that uh, I think it was Pierce, Pierce Brosnan wore, that was pretty trim because it was a quartz watch. So it was thinner than the ones they're selling now. And, you know, again, it's a movie and it's James Bond. But, you know, in real life, no, I don't think it makes any sense to wear. I think you should wear something elegant and nice when you're wearing a suit. I think that's just the way to go. Let me check. Somebody's text messaging me like crazy. Let me see what this is, if it's anything, anything that I need to deal with. Oh, okay. Trump's about to address the nation, folks. The president is about to address the nation. So anyway, I was getting ready to wrap up anyhow, so that you guys can watch the president. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, the comfort on wrist is insane. Uh, didn't think it would be this comfortable. I can fall asleep with it and not even notice. If you don't lose your vision can't imagine um if you didn't lose your vision can't imagine uh, ever selling the watch you're right it is great but when once your vision starts going <laughs> it gets to be not as fun when you're sitting there going like this you know to try to read it <laughs> it gets to be not as fun now some people are comfortable with wearing glasses all the time and then it's not non-issue right but I'm still in denial where the only time I wear my glasses is like when I'm reading the comments now or I'm reading something or I'm working at the computer. When I'm out and about wandering around, walking, hiking, whatever, I'm not wearing my glasses. And, and under those circumstances, it got dicey, you know, reading the, the date eight. Reading the, the 231 is easy in any light. I can e easily read it. And believe it or not, this 002 is easier for me to read than the day date was just because it is a bigger dial and I've got a lot of contrast between that white dial and those hands There's a lot reflects off of those hands and so this I can actually read better especially in good light than I could the day date so but you're correct if if I didn't get into that situation where I was having trouble reading it I would still have the day date I would absolutely still have I, I would never have sold it you're absolutely correct on that. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. Kyle says, totally agree, Rich. The whole reason I got the 261 was because I wanted a small GS. It is like the only one, but the day date is the best. Is yours? Uh, hi, yeah, his is 36 is the way to go. I really don't want anything over 44. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um this is because James Bond is on the job while wearing black tie. You aren't on the job while wearing black tie, so you aren't wearing a watch because it's considered bad manners. Okay. 
uh, how nice would a 231 and 40 millimeter be? Well, I mean, here's the thing though, Kyle. For me, I like the bigger size because again, it makes it very legible for me to read it. And my wrist is big enough that it looks fine on my wrist. So to, it, it depends on the size of your wrist, right? Remember that bezel takes up space. So even though that's a 44 mil watch, the dial is is not, you know, as big as you might think it is because that rotating bezel takes up a lot of space. Remember, a Submariner, a 40 mil Submariner, has about the same size dial, believe it or not, as that 36 mil date eight because it doesn't have that big bezel around it, right? So the dial, the actual dial real estate that you're telling the time on is about the same size on a 40 mil uh, sub as it is on a 36 mil date just or a 36 mil date eight. So remember, remember that. That's something to think about. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Trevor Zitz says, Kyle, you got 36 mil. I tried on the 40 mil and it is too sporty. I like the elegance of the 36. Jaden, that means a lot coming from you because you could pull off a huge watch. Uh, and uh, let's see, um, Kyle Jett, if they made that with 12 millimeter thickness, my wallet would cry, would be amazing as long as they updated the clasp as well, Triforce Rich. Uh, what do you think about the Day Date with the black dial? I like the 40 mil Day Date with that black dial that they have on it. I think it's a honeycomb dial or whatever. I, that uh, Dudley has one of those. It is stunning. That dial is stunning. If they made that in a 36 mil, that would be amazing. And I think it would be easier to read. Triforce Rich is in the house. Uh, let's see. Uh, Bond got a watch for free from Q. Needs to wear it. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Um, the country is in flames, and we're talking about watches. Is it in flames again? Okay, i got to go get my popcorn popped so I can sit back in the living room and watch the fires. <laughs> that's sad okay everybody um, hey click subscribe click the little bell the little notification bell and we will um, we will do this again yes we will we will do this again we will do our best to do this again and I think we, we helped solve some of the world's problems we haven't solved them all so this is to be continued, but we will do it. And Derek says, Craig promised he'd pay a visit to the AD with Bree and stream it for the channel. Well, I don't know that they're going to let me stream it. I don't think they're going to let me stream inside the AD. I don't think Rolex ADs are going to let you do that. I never said that. Uh, I can't speak for what the AD is going to allow me to stream or not stream. And I don't know if Brianna, I, is it the, she's still scared of the virus. She's scared to death of the virus. So I don't know if she's ready to go to the AD or not. I'm ready to go. But you got to talk to Bri and see if she's ready to go. I think she's still scared. And somebody says, stunning. Okay. Wait, Craig. <laughs> Wait, Derek says, wait, Craig. And Tom says, great show. Tom's in the house. We started a little bit late, Tom, today. We can't end yet, says Derek. We need to dapper up our riots to be classy like the Zoot Suit Riots. There you go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, folks. I am going to let this puppy wrap up. I'm going to let it wrap up. So you guys continue the conversation in the chat. But, hey, click subscribe. Click the bell.